This is Bilal Sade and welcome back to the video activities. Today's activity is called Rolling Cheese Ball. This game will help you stay active at home, it will teach you how to avoid obstacles and improve your physical reaction skills. It is challenging and full of fun. Let's start. Make sure you ask an adult to help you ensure the area is safe for playing. First thing you need is a football, make sure it's not fully pumped. If a ball is not available, you can use any soft toy. You will need three players to play this game. The first two players face each other and choose to either both sit or stand about three to four meters away from each other. The third player stands in the midpoint between the first two players. Using hands, the first two players should roll the rolling cheese ball along the ground to try to tag the player in the middle. The player in the middle has to jump, move right or left or open their legs to try to avoid getting touched by the rolling cheese ball. Here's some key points to help you with the game. It is recommended to roll the rolling cheese ball slowly first to get familiar with the game and to help your kids build their confidence and then gradually increase the speed of the rolling cheese ball. The first two players have to be always ready to receive the rolling cheese ball and try to roll it on the ground again to tag the player in the middle. A good tip for the player in the middle to avoid getting tagged Walk on tiptoe, meaning walk on the front part of your foot with your heels off the ground and make sure you are constantly moving left and right but keep your eyes on the rolling cheese ball and try to anticipate which direction they will roll it If you successfully avoided the rolling cheese ball turn to the other side quickly and get ready again to avoid getting touched by the rolling cheese ball the aim of the game is to avoid getting tagged by the rolling cheese ball five times in a row in order to win. If the player in the middle get tagged three times, the game resets. If you have more than one kid, you can choose to switch the kid in the middle. And once your kids get familiar with the game, you can ask them to see if they can try to avoid the rolling cheese ball 10 or 20 times in a row. If you want to make this game a little bit harder, you can introduce a second rolling cheese ball. I hope you enjoyed this activity. I will see you again soon.